Retrotech Ralph is proudly sponsored by my friends at One Click Print. However you want your prints, they offer quality and premium service on a variety of materials. Visit them at oneclickprint.com. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here. We're another Star Trek toy review. This time we've got the Creo Star Trek Klingon Starfleet Attack. Now this actually, the Creo is very much like the um, Lego sort of, they're a little bit different but not entirely dissimilar to Lego. They have plenty of kits out, or oh, they've had and for a while. I think this one has to come with the, is it the second Star Trek film, Star Trek Into Darkness? I'm sure it is. But there are separate sets which have the Klingon ship and the Enterprise. This one has both, and has oh, each one of these have different figures in them anyway, which is quite it's quite good to be honest. I mean, you get a standard Sulu and Chekhov, but you also get a McCoy, Spock, and Kirk in the grey uniform. Although for some reason McCoy hasn't got a line down the front, so he's probably his medical uniform with a tricorder. And we have three separate Klingons. Although I think these two might be exactly the same, different. Baldrick for that one. Now what I want to do is make this. I don't, I've never actually made this, but my other half has. So hence why things are in different types of bags. So what we get to start with is she's already put on the stickers for the side area, which is in the right place. I don't know what that part is there for. There's a light on there, so obviously things will light up or something. Okay, that turns around. Oh, right, okay, so that's basically gonna be the main section there for the hull to build on and the pylons for the nacelles to go on. I'm guessing, could be wrong, that all this is the Klingon ship. It's like the, D, like the D7 battlecruiser, I'm not 100% certain. Could be a different variant, we don't know. So we have a bag of Klingon stuff. We have what looks like a lot of Enterprise stuff with part of the saucer. And we have another part already with the Enterprise put on there. These will have come as a sticker, I'm sure. Let's put these down so the box is that big. And we have instructions. Do we have instructions? No, I think we just have warranty sort of stuff. Warning, do not inhale Creo sort of one. Yeah, I'm all over that age. The stickers that came with, looks like she's already put those on, which is fine. Battle damage. I oh, I had, when I was growing up, a, a X-Wing fighter from the Empire Strikes Back, and it came with a sheet of stickers like this for battle damage. And I just stuck them on. I thought, yeah, brilliant. It's going to look exactly like I want it and then realised it just looks absolutely diabolical because you're sticking it over the other other stickers as well. So it's just not that good. So I've left them off deliberately. But yeah, it shows there, there's some, some bit, bits and bats and the Klingons look completely unscathed. Even though the Federation one looks like he's out beaten on every single <laughs> panel it can do. But I'm not going to make that one. So the book that comes with this is an instructions for the Klingon. Okay, so that's the Klingon instructions. And for some reason, it looks like the pictures are exactly the same, except it's a bigger, you know, it just denotes that's that one. Even though for some reason it doesn't say which ship it is. Oh, weird. So the light tech. So I'm guessing, yes, we'll put batteries in the bottom here. Okay. So it's inside there. I'll have to put three batteries. Well, the double A's or triple A's alkaline batteries doesn't state. Three double A, sorry, triple A batteries. So it's four and a half volts. So technically, I could quite easily just put a couple of cables out of here and wire it up to a USB just to get the voltage. I'm guessing there's a wire coming down because there's two more lights inside there anyway. So full instructions on the Enterprise there. Other, other ships you can get, transporter room. Looks like the uh, that is a, that is a 
Mm. I'm not quite sure that's an, any good of a um, kit, that, to be honest. You've got a door and a, and a hatch, but you've got two extra figures. Whereas that one, you've got a transporter room and a Scotty. It looks like a Scotty or, or somebody else and a little on. So, possible. Get more of these in the future. That's it completed. Yeah, we're not going to show you that just yet. So, we're going to get down to attempting to clear the decks and start to build this thing. Now, I think we'll start off with the Klingon ship. Bag full of goody Klingon things. They're, they're, they're all different colours, but they look very much similar sort of style to what the Lego is. If you watched another video of mine, it was a Lego Millennium Falcon that took absolutely ages to do. But do like the Lego kits, and we'll um, we'll crack on with this now. We won't do this at normal speed. We'll do this fast forward, so you can follow along at home. And I've just got to sort out <sighs> what parts are what.
that was an epic build. <laughs> okay, right. It's not bad. It's made it, made it look like it's kind of a, a Klingon bird of prey by having the landing le gear legs on there. The a D7 doesn't have this, but um, it's nice that they've got the um, torpedo launcher on there. Shame that I haven't got any batteries that work, otherwise that would light up. It is a little bit clumsy there, a little bit odd. But that's your bridge section. If anybody knows Star Trek, that's your bridge. However, you've got pilot, gun toting, double gun toting, captain there, and a guy in the back waiting to get out to play, well, to um, attack people with his battleth. So that's actually not bad at all. I quite like that. He doesn't fit in here with battleth properly. Oh, there he goes. That's better. It's actually not that bad. This is a good uh, thing with the, um, the double torpedo launchers. That is quite cool, really. However, Dana Cells, yeah, he's pointing out blooming silly things that really don't. But it's a toy. That's all it is. It's a toy for the ages 9 to 14. <sighs> right, with that done, I'm actually really not looking forward to the Enterprise because there's a lot more parts and my back's hurting. So, pausing the video here for me, and I'll carry on in a second for you to get on with doing let's have a quick look that's certainly a bit of a problem that comes down every so often but I'll get on with doing the Enterprise it's not bad really not a bad little kit to be honest I mean granted these don't fit as well as, as Lego do I mean I don't ever like calling Lego in the third person as in extra Legos. It's a bit weird, really. I've just grown up with Lego. But it is good. It just feels a little bit different. There's a, there's a flex on there. But it's fine. It's good for what it is. Well, I think what we're going to do is going to split this into two parts. There's a Klingon battle cruiser, all done, all sorted, all happy. So I think we'll do the Enterprise in another build, in another video. So with that in mind, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.